Hello, this is T Mike here in South Louisiana. I'm shooting a video today on a test, a beta test on a new paint that I found on the market. Uh, it's a paint by Vintage Outboard Paints. Uh, as you've seen in some of my previous videos, I make the statement of the best match paints and show you matches for all the restores I do. And I made the statement that you can't find the original colors anymore and nobody makes the matching paints. Well, I think I found a vendor who does make the matching paints. Uh, they just started up recently and uh, I bought a couple of colors from them and trying them out on the motor I'm doing. Here's a 1968 uh, 9.5 horsepower Johnson MQ14. Uh, restore number 81 of mine and I've already done several pieces of the body I bought the paint the paint from them this is uh, their fast drying acrylic enamel it's Johnson forest green 1968 which is uh, the motor I'm working on and I'm gonna tell you I haven't finished with it yet but so far I'm uh, I am impressed. The color match was almost perfect, or as perfect as I've ever seen. This motor was in pretty good shape, so I could tell the match when I started spraying on it. I gave it a sand job and applied three coats. First one really lightly sanded, second coat a little, little more wet sanded, and then hit it with the third coat. And uh, I have to tell you, so far, looks pretty good. I am uh, pleasantly surprised. You know, I'm a Rust-Oleum paint guy. All my previous models have been done with Rust-Oleum, but this one has a nice finish to it. And uh, pretty good. So I'm gonna start on the tank the customer sent me. He wants a restore done on it. So they actually do make the gas tank red for the Johnson vintage motors. So I'm gonna document the cleanup job and the paint on that. And I just ordered the Arctic white paint for the hood. Hadn't come in yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and sand down the hood and put new decals and document that. And then when the video is over, I'll give you my final evaluation for me, whether I'm gonna switch to this particular paint or not. Looks pretty good so far. We'll see how the rest of it comes out. Stay tuned. All right, so I've sanded down the top of the tank all the way down to the metal. And I've got my vintage outboard paint, the OMC Gas Tank Red, 59 to 90. And this tank was made in 1968 or so. So it should be a match. So what I'm gonna do, I have not I've cleaned, but I haven't sanded the bottom of the tank. So I'm going to spray some right here, or maybe in the center right here, so we can get a match. See if, if they got a good match on their paint. Here we go. Okay, I've shaken the, shaken the can up for the instructions. I'm going to hit a couple of licks in the middle. And I would say that it is a match. Almost can't tell where the old paint and the new paint ends. So Vintage Oddboard Paints has passed the match test for this color. And they passed it on the other color too. So I'm starting to feel even better about this paint. Let's clean her all up and paint the whole thing now. Okay, so we're gonna do another test on the vintage outboard paint. I got the gas tank red here and it says fast drying. All right, so we've done the uh, color match test. We've done the quality of the finish on the other pieces. Now I'm gonna do the tank with their matching gas tank red, 1959 to 1990. And we're gonna test the fast drying 
feature. I have a timer here. I'm gonna put the first coat kind of lightly on there. And then I'm gonna time to see how long it takes to dry. And I'm gonna do it in five minute increments. I'm hoping that it dries in 10 minutes. We'll see how that comes out. Here we go. Okay, there's the first coat, a light coat. I'm gonna start the timer. And I'm gonna test it to see if it's tacky or how it... Yeah, it's on there, but it's tacky. So I'm gonna come back in five minutes and see if it's still tacky, and then we'll see how long it takes before I can actually sand it down. So stay tuned. Okay, we're at the five minute mark, right there. Let's see how it does. Hey, it's not tacky. Appears to be dry to me in five minutes. I'm gonna take some 220 grit and I'm gonna hit a lick on it and see what comes off on my paper. Looks like most of the paint stayed on. Pretty good. Okay, so I gave it a quick sanding with 220 grit. We're at six and a half. So I'm gonna give it a second coat. I'm gonna put it a little thicker this time, a little wet. Okay, put a pretty good coat on there. And we're right at nine minutes and 15 seconds. So I'm gonna give it five minutes, which will be at 15 minutes, and we'll see if it's dry. Okay, we're at five minutes on this drying time. Total of 15 minutes since we've started. Now I'm gonna put the final coat and I'm gonna Put it pretty thick. I'll make it shine. Hopefully there'll be no drips and no errors. Oh, we gotta see if it's dry, if it's, uh, see if it's dry first. Yeah, dry, dry, not tacky. So I'm gonna hit it with some thousand grit before we put the third coat. No paint coming off. All right, pretty good. Almost very little paint came off when I did it, so it looks like five minutes drying time, it's pretty good. 
Now for the real test, I'm gonna hit it with a really good third coat, make it shine. Like that acrylic enamel come out. And we'll see how that does. Okay, I put a really thick third coat. Final coat is looking really good. We're at 20, we're at 21 minutes. So I'm gonna come back in five minutes, which would be 26 minutes, and we'll see if that coat dried. I do have some more touch up to do around the handle when I was holding it there and underneath, but this will be the final test. If it works, we'll say that you can paint a, a can in under 30 minutes, three coats better than any other paint I've used. We'll see. Okay, we're at uh, total 26 minutes painting time. That was five minutes on the third coat and I put it pretty thick. And guess what? Dry as can be. I still got the bottom to do and some touch up around the handle where I was touching it. But when I tell you it dries fast, it dries fast. Yeah, and I wouldn't normally rush this painting. I would let it dry longer than that. But here's evidence that the fast dry, fast dry description on the bottle is accurate. Stay tuned for the finished project. Okay, so my Arctic white Fast drying acrylic enamel has arrived and we're going to do the final test on the vintage outboard paint by painting the hood. I'm going to sand it down now and apply my three coats. Here we go. Okay, I got her completely sanded down. I used uh, 120 grit get all the paint off and then I smoothed it out with a 220 grit. Now I'm going to bask the decals and then put a mask around this little bit to paint the black trim. Here we go with that. Okay I've got uh, my three coats put on the hood and on the prop. I did allow a quicker I uh, allowed more drying time this time, about an hour in between the three coats. It was dry at five minutes, but uh, let it go an hour. It looks really good. So I'm gonna pull the masking tip off and apply the decals, and then we'll take a final look at it. All right, here's the finished product with the vintage outboard paint, Arctic White with the decals placed and looks good I'm impressed dry awesome now let's do the final evaluation and we we'll see how the vintage upboard paint matches up against my old rust-oleum paint I was using here we go Alright, so here we go with the final evaluation on my two paints that are competing for my business. So I've been using the Rust-Oleum, alright, is the paint I've been using. And I've just done the beta testing on the new paint I found, vintage outboard paint. And I'm going to do a grading scale on a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being the best, of 5 different categories. 
okay? And those categories are color match, quality, availability, drying time, and cost, okay? So the first category, color match, on a scale of one to 10, all right, I'm gonna give Rust-Oleum a zero and give the Vintage Job Board paints a 10. The Rust-Oleum paints really come close in their matching, but they're not designed for the exact colors that I'm looking for, so that's gonna be my scoring, all right? So now the next category is quality. And I'm gonna give the Rust-Oleum a 10. It's a good paint, chemical resistant, glossy, shiny paint. And I'm gonna give the Vintage Upboard paint a 10. It also seems to be a good paint, all right? So the next category is gonna be availability. So I'm gonna give Rust-Oleum a five on that because although they're at every Home Depot and Tractor Supply and Lowe's, They'll switch colors on you every once in a while. I have trouble with uh, the uh, burgundy, holiday bronze uh, is the color, of this 57, 758, and I found the burgundy that matches, but then you go into the store and it won't be there anymore. So I'm gonna give them a five, and the vintage outboard paint, I'm gonna give them a 10. They have the available, available matching colors online. You can get them almost any time, ship to you, so I'm gonna give them a 10. All right, then the next category is drying time. And here we go again, Rust-Oleum compared to the other paint gets a zero. I mean, I've, I've let my paint dry 24 hours up to 48 hours before I felt I could put the next coat. And I'm gonna give the vintage outboard paint a 10. You watch my video, it dries in five minutes. So you can easily do a, you know, leave an hour, two hours, three hours in between coats and do it in a day. I did my hood in, in about, an, about two or three hours. I did the gas tank in less than a half hour, all right? So the last category I'm gonna do is cost, all right? Now here, I'm gonna give the Rust-Oleum a 10. They're less than $5 a can. Pretty good, very good price. And I'm gonna give the Vintage Job Board paints a zero. They're, this can of paint was $20 plus shipping, all right? So that's the, the scoring. As you can see, Rust-Oleum came out with 25, and the Vintage Outboard came, came out with a 40 on my grading scale. So Vintage Outboard Motor Paints is the winner. <laughs> I'm gonna say the bottom line on this paint is that it's more expensive than the other paint, but the drying time, the quality, and the color match is worth it. That's not to say I'm not gonna use my Rust-Oleum for touch-up, repair work, I restored, but on my full restores, it's thirty to forty dollars, probably more per motor worth for paint. But I think it's worth it. That's my recommendation. Hope you help and enjoy. See you next video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Here at T Mike's Vintage Outboards, we're doing it one motor at a time. Please click on subscribe. I guarantee to provide weekly videos. Merci beaucoup and laissez les bons temps rouler.